Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to talk to you about MAPI over HTTP. Now if you're not aware that MAPI over HTTP is the preferred client protocol in Exchange 2019. If you installed Exchange 2019 on its own, it will be enabled by default. If you're running coexistence with Exchange Server 2016, it will be enabled by default when you install 2019. If you're running ex any Exchange 2013 servers and you bring in Exchange 2019, it will be disabled by default. So just be aware of this when you um, actually want to configure this. So the first thing we need to do is look at our organization config. So if I go get org, uh, not unit, so I'm formatting the list right. You can see there's a lot of settings under organization config. Right, you can see many, many things that you can set. To make it easier for us to find what we're looking for, you can do that and um, you can specify MAPI. Because we're looking for MAPI over HTTP if it's enabled, you can see because I'm running a pure Exchange 2019 server here with a second one, it is enabled by default. If you wanted to run Exchange 2019 without MAPI, you can do so. And it's very easy to change. You can type in set organization config minus dollar false. If I go back to the previous command again, you can now see it was enabled, it's now disabled. Now, if it is enabled, and we'll set it back to um, enabled, the next step that you have to do is basically look at your virtual directory. And that is the MAPI virtual directory. So if you, if I copy a command, or look at a command minus server ex 2019a let me just format the list I've already done this or configured it and to show you that I have my internal URL my external URL and I have my authentication methods now you're wondering how did I set this so it's actually very easy. I'm just going to copy the command and I'm going to show you in Notepad what I did. So what I did is I used the get command for a like a specific server. I didn't have to. I could I could have just used the set command. I specify the internal and external URL and there I specify the IIS authentication methods. Now, this is all well configured, but let's say you've got it enabled or you've got it disabled, should I say, and you wanna enable it for a specific mailbox. You can do so, it's actually very easy. So if I had to go and look at my mailbox for example and there's a lot of fields here let's just break it down into mappy ah I don't have mappy on my mailbox let's just go get cas mailbox Mappy star. Okay, so 
you need to use the get dash cas mailbox command. Uh, sorry, I typed it quickly in the, in the first command. You can see just get mailbox. And you can see that um, map is enabled, which is the normal connection. Map over HTTP is basically empty. So all I can do is I can go set cas mailbox, my mailbox name, minus mappy HTTP dollar true. And if I go back to this, you'll now see that this is now enabled for my mailbox. Now obviously because I've been doing the commands uh, quickly where I disabled mappy for the org, re-enabled it again for the org, it's got to take some time to replicate. But that is pretty much how easy it is to configure it. Now, the next thing you can do is if you want to test if this is working, you can use the Outlook Mappy HTTP self-test probe built into Exchange. So how do you do this? You type in test Outlook connectivity run from server ID. I'm going to specify my server. Just make this smaller so you can see. Probe identity, Outlook, Mappy, HTTP, self test probe. This will now basically tell you whether it's failed or it's succeeded. So just give it a couple of seconds to do its thing. So while we wait for that, just remember that if you do enable Mappy for either the organization level or on the mailbox, there are certain prerequisites that are required. You need to have Outlook versions that will obviously will work with it. So we all know that Outlook or Office 2010 is now end of life. So Office 2016, 2019, you need to obviously be aware of the uh, patch levels, etc. And this is on docs.microsoft.com. You can go and actually view the requirements or the prerequisites for this. And it is updated by Microsoft. Uh, but when I last checked, even Outlook 2013 RTM was on the list, obviously with the different protocols that it can connect to. And just to be sure that you don't run into an issue where a client is, um, set to this and it can't connect. So our test has succeeded, as you can see, which means everything is healthy here and we are good to go. So that's pretty much uh, Mappy over HTTP in a nutshell. Just to recap, it's the preferred um, client connection method, uh, protocol, if you wanna call it, for Outlook clients to use and if a client can't connect to Mappy, it will then obviously default or go to RPC, Outlook anywhere basically, and connect that way. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.